The field is the outer portion of your power tool's motor. It works with the armature to create an electromagnetic field, which causes the armature to spin. Most problems with the field are caused by overloading the tool. When the tool is overloaded, the field windings can be burnt. Common symptoms of a bad field are loss of power and excessive sparks from the armature. There will often be smoke coming from the motor or a burning smell. A bad field can also cause the armature to quickly fail, so you'll want to inspect it closely as well. Replacing the field is a repair that you can do yourself, and I'm going to show you how. Hi, I'm Mark Soja. Do-it-yourself repairs like these are easier than you might think. From lawn machines to cordless grills, kitchen mixers, outdoor grills, our how-to videos walk you through each repair from start to finish. So doing it yourself means never having to do it alone. Let's get started. I'll begin by removing the brushes from the motor. Now we'll remove the gear head. And the armature. Now we'll remove one half of the rear handle. Next, I'll note the location of each of the wires, and then remove them. I'll remove the sensor on the back of the housing. And I'll remove the last wire from the brush holder on the opposite side. Next, I'll remove the baffle and then the screws that secure the field. I'll remove the field wires from the clips that secure them. Then I'll tap the housing against my workbench to slide the field out. Now I can install the new field. I set the field so that both yellow wires are on the left side of the grinder. With the field properly oriented, I'll fish the new wires into the housing. And as I do this, I'll slide the field into the housing. Once the field's in place, I'll secure it with the screws. And I'll replace the baffle. I'll clip the wires back into the holders. On the side with the single black wire, 
I'll reconnect it to the brush holder. Same with the black wire on the other side. There are two sets of wire connection tabs on either side of the motor. You'll notice that one of the tabs is a little smaller. I'll connect the yellow wires to the smaller tab. Now I'll reconnect the speed sensor and place the motor housing back into the lower half of the handle. Now I'll reconnect the red and the white wires. Now I'll replace the top half of the handle housing. Now I can reinstall the armature. I'll install the armature into the housing first. As I slide it in place, I'll line the tabs on the metal plate with the slots in the housing. Once it's in place, I'll reinstall the gear head. and I'll secure the gear head with the screws. And now I'll reinstall the brushes. And now you know how to install a new field on your power tool. Be sure to check back often for new videos and expert advice. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up and leave a comment.